Days. Welcome to day 10 of the Year in a Day program. Um, so, today, the last couple days we've been going over meditation. Um, and today, while well, yesterday was meditational breathing, today is meditational sitting. Um, now, meditational sitting attempts to mobilize the body so that the mind can start, um, uh, can begin to clarify, is the way that they put it. Um, so basically what they think is that if you are sitting still, then your mind will still. Um, which for me feels like the complete opposite because I feel like when I sit still, my mind goes absolutely crazy. But um, there are two basic versions of this. The first is using a specialized floor cushion uh, called a Zafu. Zafu? Z-A-F-U. And then the other is to meditate while just sitting on a chair. Um, so, they talk about the different styles. Um, the meditator sits on the floor, um, on the third front of the cushion, if you're using a Zafu, and, um, the pelvis tilts slightly forward, both knees should touch the ground in a loose Indian style. Um, Yeah, so I don't have a Zafu, so that really doesn't apply to me. I guess you can find them online, um, but I don't have one, so I should probably look into it. Maybe that'll help me. I don't know. But I'm constantly in the Indian style position. Anyway, so, um, but here are some other things that you should consider if you are doing meditation while sitting. Your spine needs to be elongated, so the way that I'm sitting like this, not good. You need to have your spine elongated. Your head straight and level, not tilted forward. This is backward, not tilted backward or forward. Um, keep your your spine from your head all the way down, completely elongated and straight. Your teeth need to be together lightly. Your tongue needs to, the tip is pressed lightly to the roof of your mouth behind your front teeth to avoid excess saliva buildup while you're sitting. Your shoulders need to be down and relaxed. Oh my god, that feels so good. <laughs> I've been tense today, so just letting my shoulders fall is just like, oh my goodness. Your arms are relaxed and arranged so that the wrists rest in your lap, and your hands rest one on top of the other, the palms up and the thumbs touching slightly. How the hell do you do that? Palms up. Hold on a minute. Oh, it must be like this. Okay, I was like, if your palms are up, how are your... Like this. There you go. All right. God, I am ridiculous. So the difference between the chair and the cushion sitting is that your legs should be bent at the knees comfortably and your feet should be placed flat on the floor if you're sitting as opposed to using your, um, as opposed to using your, uh, cushion. Um, your knees should be on the floor. So if, you, if that's the case, I'm going to show you what I'm doing here. You've got... See what I mean? How knees can be on the floor, that kind of Indian style. That's what they're talking about. Oh my god, now you're not going to be able to stay. Ooh, don't move. Okay. So, um, allow your back to rest on your chair backrest, keeping the spine aligned and elongated. So today, there is a practice. It's called wall gazing. Oh my god. I'm a terrible person. I just woke up from a nap, a really long nap, that I should not have taken. <laughs> so I apologize. So, today's practice is wall gazing. Now what you're going to do is you're either going to sit on your cushion or on the chair, whatever you prefer, while facing a blank wall. Um, what I found is that I prefer it to be either white or a neutral color, not a wall that's like super bright. Like I used to have a bathroom that was yellow, like bright yellow. And it would help me wake up in the morning, but when you're trying to calm your mind, bright ass colors like that are not very... So that's actually another thing, is if you have a room in your house that's full of bright colors, it's not the best for meditation. You either want white or you want neutral, soft tones. Um... So sit that you are sit so that you are at least two feet from the wall surface. Assume your usual sitting position, the one that I told you about. 
Um, look downward at about a 45 degree angle. Soften your focus until the walls feel insubstantial, almost as though it has lost solidity. 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 Wow. Solidity. Allow your attention to settle on your breathing. So remember what we learned yesterday. Try not to breathe deeply or erratically. Simply breathe as you normally do. Uh, begin to count each exhalation from 1 up to 10. If you notice, oh my god, I'm so sorry. If you notice that your attention drifts from the counting and you become caught up in memories, future planning, emotions, or situations, start counting over again. Practice this meditation technique today and for the next several days until you feel as though your mind is settling on simply counting. Um, which is an awesome way because a lot of times, especially for someone like me, when I try to do this exercise, people are like, oh, you think about it, you're like, oh, it's not that big a deal. I'm just counting to ten. It's No, it's hard. When you're sitting there and you're, because when your spine is elongated, you get much deeper breaths. Um, and when you're sitting there and you're just staring at a wall and you're counting, you think, oh, whatever, it's not big. No, it's hard. At least for me, it's very difficult to make it from 1 to 10 and not get lost thinking about something or thinking about the next day or thinking about the day before or the day of or about work or about school or about Kevin or about, no, God, or about all the shit that I have to do. No, it's hard. And so it's very, very good to do something like this at least once a day to get your mind trained that when you're in that room, looking at that wall, in that position, breathing, you you don't think about that kind of stuff. You get kind of like in this meditative state. And it does come with time and with practice. And another thing that I've noticed is that if you light a specific candle every time you meditate, so like this is my this is my special candle and it smells awesome. Oh my gosh. Um if you light a candle and if you light a you know what? I think I have ghosts in my damn house today, apparently, because, oh my god, I just did a video before and it fell. My phone doesn't, I mean, stop. Stop. Now I'm actually kind of scared. <laughs> it just, like, moved out. It was like, er, er, like, for no... For no reason. <laughs> Alright. I'm sorry if that scared some people. It's alright being here. Cut it out. Okay? This is not nice. It's Friday night and I'm here by myself. So, stop it. Okay. I think, uh, I think I'm good. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like shaking right now. It's so weird. Anyway, I don't even remember what I was talking to you guys about. Um, so, oh yes. So if you have a specific candle that you use for when you meditate, or when you do, if you have a specific one you use during spell work or anything like that, and if you have a specific scent of incense that you use every single time, it's really easy to get back into that frame of mind the next time you go to do it. So if, if you have a certain scent that as soon as you smell it, it brings on those feelings of meditation. Um, it's perfect, kind of like my sandalwood incense. Oh my god, I love that stuff. So, anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Um, a great day 10. I hope I said this was day 10. I think I did. Um, but I hope you guys have a great day 10. I am so excited because today I am going out, well, tonight I'm going out for my birthday because my birthday is Sunday. So, I'm really excited to just have a ball this weekend, so I have to make sure I get some meditation in before I go into all that, because, yeah, so I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow.